Intercession of set, union of set, then complement of a set. Is that not it? Yes. So we want to know that by the end of the lesson, the students you will be able to state the union of a set, intercession of a set, and complement of a set. So we have our universal set to be n is greater than or equal to one, but less than or equal to twelve. Then you also have P consists of even numbers less than 7, and Q is prime numbers less than 10. Now we have to find P intersection Q, P union Q, P intersection Q complement, and P complement intersection Q complement. So this is what we want to learn today, and this is what we want to get. That by the end, you people should be able to state complement of a set, union of a set, and intersection of what? A set. So let's begin the union of a set. Now let's list the numbers. What will be the numbers? One, uh -huh. two, uh -huh. three, uh -huh. four, uh -huh. five, uh -huh. six, uh -huh. seven, uh -huh. eight, S, nine, uh -huh. ten, uh -huh. eleven, uh -huh. twelve. So why are we adding twelve? Why are we adding 12? We are adding 12 because it stated here yeah, that it should be greater than or equal to. Is that not it? Yes. Now let's come here. We said that P consists of even numbers less than what? Yes. Let's list them. Two. Uh -huh. Four. Uh -huh. Six. Uh -huh. Okay. Then let's go to prime numbers less than 10. Let's list them. Uh huh. Three. Uh huh. Five. Uh huh. Seven. Uh huh. Okay. Now that we have our universal set, we have our P, which is even numbers less than seven, and we also have our prime numbers less than ten. We are now going to find P intersection Q. Now you remember that we said. For a number to be intersection, the number should be both in P and it should be in Q. Is that not it? Yes. So from the universal set, from our P, from our Q, let's find P intersection Q. Yes. That's all. Yes. Okay, now let's go to P in on Q. <coughs> let's list the numbers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Four. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Six. Uh -huh. Seven. Uh -huh. That's all. Okay. Then what do we have again? P intersection Q complement. So we have to find our Q complement first. Is that not it? Yes. And finding the complement, <coughs> we compare that to have the universal set. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Now let's find our Q complement. Then we find P intersection Q complement. Okay, let's do. Q complement. One, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, then we have our P. P consists of two, four. Okay. So now that we have our Q complement, let's find P intersection Q complement. We have already found out. Q complement already. Is that not yes. it? Yes. So let's find the P intersection Q complement and that will give us what? Four? Four? Six. Uh -huh. okay. We have our P complement intersection Q complement. So you are going to do that one. 
So first, what do you need to do? Find that, that, that's one. When you finish, you find your intercession. So quickly do that one and let's see what happens. 30 seconds, hurry up. 30 seconds. <coughs> find your peer complement. When you finish, you find your peer complement. After that, you find P complement intercession, Q complement. So we have our P complement intercession, Q complement. Are you done? Yes. Okay, let's go. One. 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 Eight, eight, eight. Uh huh. Nine, uh huh. Ten. Uh huh. Eleven. Uh huh. Twelve. Uh huh. Okay. Did you all get that? Yes. Any challenge or difficulty? So we have come to the end of our lesson today. Finding our P complement, a Q complement, then the union of sets. So we have realized that whenever you are giving a complement of a set and you have to find the union and then the intercession. First, you find the complement of that set. Is that not it? Yes. After finding the set, a complement of that set, then you compare that one to the universal set to find your uh, union or intercession of a set. Note, some of you, you will be tempted to find P intersection Q complement before you'll be tempted to find P intersection Q before you find their complement. When you do that, that is wrong. You will not get the same answer. So when you go, you can try and see whether you get the same answer. You will not get the same answer. So do not find their intersection before you find what? Their complement. Find their complement before you find what? Yeah. Their intersection. Any question? Any question? So we are going to do the next example. And you are going to find that one. Find P complement union Q complement. Find P complement union Q complement. So first you have to find out. Then, then after that you do what? You find what? Yeah. Yes. Are you done? Yes. Okay. So we have our P complement in your Q complement. We have already found your P complement. Is that it? Yes. Then your Q complement. Yes. So let's find the union. It will give you what? One. Uh huh. Three. Uh huh. Four. Uh huh. Five. Uh huh. Six. Uh huh. Seven. Uh huh. Eight. Uh huh. Nine. Uh huh. Ten. Uh huh. Eleven. Uh huh. Twelve. Good. So this shows that you have understood. Yeah, so any thing that you will do, you have to be solving more examples, as I keep on telling you. We cannot solve all the examples in this world. So once you have understood, you have to solve more examples. You have to be solving more examples. There are times you see that they will put it in a bracket that you have